the new piggy game has arrived. And I'm not as late as I normally am playing this. I'm normally like a week late. I'm on it the next day. But just quickly, make sure you watch till the end of the video because believe you me, something crazy happens. But what we need to do is we need to start figuring out some mysteries. Because like good old piggy normally does, it has a good ton of mysteries. Now I've been playing this for a little while. I thought I'm not going to collect the sticks. You guys have already seen how to collect the sticks, etc. Etc. But I think what we're also going to need at some point is this suitcase. I mean, I have quite a few tokens, so do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pretty much buy everything. Flippers! Let's get some flippers. Oh, wait, what? A tasty drink? Okay, I don't know what that's going to be good for, but oh, I've run out of coins. No, I haven't. Thanks for your fake money. Wait, wait. <laughs> Does that mean I can't buy too much of the same thing? Okay. But this game was created by Team I2R, which if you take a look at their Twitter, it says here, the team behind pig 64 and question marks what do the question marks mean but i believe that this place up here is the new mystery that everybody is trying to solve but i can't get there right now but let's just go and complete the first mystery and that is to do with mr p right so let's teleport over to the metro right here we go what's going on here oh goodness right okay so i think the plan is we go down here let's take that off because that's being annoying and yes i have already unlocked this door i'll be honest i've already done it and i've already clicked on him but is he gonna say it again no he's not and this was not purple when i was here last anyway these vents are also going to be very important in just a second because we're gonna need to do some valves but now that we've done this part we need to head over to the mall which i don't think is actually in this area oh but first, I need to find these wallet things. Oh, fun. Well, here's one. So there we go. We've got that one. Lovely. That's Vincent's. And that is two. About time. That one took ages. <laughs> and a yee. I hope there's no fall damage. Yep. That is four. There we go. Denver's wallet. And that is another one. Albert's wallet. We have just got to find two more before we can move on. That looks like one down there. <laughs> there we go. We've got Justin's wallet. One more, which I'm assuming is probably going to be in the other building because I don't have one from the other building yet. Wait, Larry's laundrette? What the? Of course the last one's not in this building. Where is the last one? There it is. I literally had to search up where the last one was. That was kind of painful. Now we can teleport back to here and then get to the other map. Here we go. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. All right, well, we might as well collect this while we can. What are these things? They are tickets. All right, but we're not here to be collecting these. We are here to be putting on some levers. We just have to find the levers. All right, so the first lever is over here. There we go. The first lever has been flipped. There is a second lever right down here. There is a third lever right up here, which I believe I have to go up the stairs for. And that is dangerous. Where is the extra bits? What is going on here, Mini Toon? But anyway, next bits up here. There we go. Flipped that one. And now the next one, I believe that we need to go up into this room. And it's just in there. So there you go. If you don't know where those are, that was a nice little easy tour to how to do it. Now, I believe if we go to the bank, the, the bank is now open. There we go. So now we're going to need a code. But we don't know the code yet. So what we need to do is we need to go to that weird room where the dice does its thing what a cool looking arcade though but anyway we're going to need to try and remember these numbers so if we put the dice down here uh is it gonna do it how do i do it how do i place it down oh you just click it there we go off it goes two okay so that's a nice easy one to remember to begin with two next one click it and the next one is one so two one that's very easy to remember so far okay let's put the third one down here we go click that so two one two one three wow these are really easy to remember two one three last time and here we go it is going to be two one three five Wow. Okay, right, let's pick that back up. Two, one, three, five. All right, so if we head back over to the bank and it's two, one, three, five, let's hope this works. Two, one, three, five, confirm. I'm waiting and it's doing something. There we go. All right, so if we click on this, hey you, yeah you, I assume I'm the first to tell you that this is all fake, aka not real. I know. <laughs> you do? Well, okay then. But not only that, this is also a test, a simulation, if you will. Really? 
yeah, and I can help you break out, but you have to follow these instructions. Okay, not really instructions, but I have some knowledge that can help. Okay, help us, buddy. Amazing. So firstly, you know that crying potato in the subway? Well, he wasn't crying yet, but I know about him. <laughs> yes, I know about him. Yes, sweet. Obviously, we want him to stop being so sad. So we need to... I missed that bit, but I know what I've got to do anyway, okay? <laughs> so there we go. That's the first step done. Now what we need to do is we need to head back to the city. What we now need to do is we need to try and get into the Mrs. P window. But first, we need a building to get up inside of. Where are you, Mrs. P? Where are you? There you are. So what we need to do is... We we need to jump and we need to aim into this window right here which isn't gonna be easy but we have done it and there we go right here is the mrs p painting we're gonna collect that that should be now in our inventory somewhere there we go and now we head back to the station down here all right mr p look what i've got for you pal wait why are you making some weird noises i've got a mrs p for you to remember there you go. Oh, and we've managed to get the badge. There we go. Let's take a screenshot of that quickly. Lovely. Oh, it's all watery now. What's going on here? Wait, I bought flippers. Does that do anything? Oh, there we go. So now what we need to do is we now need to find the valves. This is valve number one. That has been turned on. We now need, I believe, three more valves. Whee! This is actually pretty fun. <laughs> I believe another valve is over here because what we need to do is we need to look for these drains oh my goodness there we go there's another one let's let's turn that one there we go and now there should be a total of two more somewhere oh here's another one so that is another valve done and i think that there's another one just around the corner look at that there's another drainage bit on this system here so i'm hoping there's another valve which there is there we go and i've done all four i believe i think i've missed a valve somewhere down in the metro <laughs> What a doozy. I think it may be up here. Nope. That was a complete lie. Oh, is it this one here? I think it might be this one that I haven't yet done. There we go. That is the fifth and final valve done. Right. Well, now I believe that I have to head to the arcade. So let's head to the arcade. This is very backwards and forwards, mini tune. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take our flippers off. Although I kind of like them. I think they look pretty cool. But we need to head back in here for the claw machine. And what we need to do is we need to put our boombox on because now we've got some stuff to do. So here we go. What are we going to do? We're going to press right a little bit. We need to go right. So we're going to need cram a bit, I think. There we go. So if we do that. Okay, I think I've got a bit of a bug because my thing's not working. Okay, I have absolutely no idea why this is not working. I'm playing it and it's not doing anything anything oh these guys are the best yeah they just helped me out big time i think that's in line now if i do dimension down oh that was pants that was nowhere near is it gonna do it and yeah we have the mrs p these guys are literally the best yeah there we go and we have the Mrs. P. I actually thought it wasn't going to be doable, but apparently you need the Jar of Infinite Coins. Wow. Shout out to these guys helping me out in the chat. You've got the Future Sh Soldier. I think they helped me out first and then everyone else basically copied them. But yeah, big shout out to you guys because I wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise. Right, well, now we need to head back to Mr. P and I'm pretty sure that we've almost done it. There we go. This has been quite the, the runaround, hasn't it? Right, let's head back to Mr. P, which is down here. Let's get down and... And let's open up. Where's the, where, where, wait, is this meant to still be like water? I don't know why it's still with water because you can't be crying underwater. Anyway, let's get the Mrs. P out. Uh, there we go. And let's click Mr. P. And is that going to work? There we go. We can collect the Mr. P hat and we can also put it on, I think. Oh, there we go. The water has disappeared. I didn't realize that that's what made the water disappear. But anyway, there we go. We now head back to the mall and we go and talk back to that weirdo that was behind the vault. All right, so let's back. Back, head back to the, the vault, which I believe is over here. Oh, and it's closed again. I knew you were going to do that to me. How did I know you was going to do that to me? Is it still the same? Oh, wait. I can just enter it. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was so much easier. There we go. Oh, that was better. Right, well, apparently they're talking, but uh, I have no idea what they're talking about. They've not done anything yet. I think I'm bugged because they look like they're talking with each other, but uh, 
there's no words. So this is the most silent conversation I think I've ever had in my life. Well, let's just pretend that we had a conversation. <laughs> that was super weird. Oh, I see. You have to wear the hat and this. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Oh, so now there's a new code. Interesting. Let me in. I want to get in. <laughs> this is so annoying. I just want to get in. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't think it was actually going to work.